Hi everybody, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for visiting with me today. Happy Valentine's Day. So for today, I'm going to be doing a special um, effects look. So I'm going to gather up what I need and here's a hint. But they got a little too firm, but they're okay. Okay, so um, I've just gone through a lot of frustration and aggravation. Um, and I'm not going to do it this, the way I had originally planned was with this uh, synthetic modeling wax. Uh, this has a learning curve. I definitely need to practice that more. So I'm going to use my trusty liquid latex and hopefully I could make this work. So I've drawn a little heart right here, but I'm going to um, get my cookie cutter and draw it a little darker so I can see it. Um, I just spent a lot of time just getting nothing but aggravated. But So we're going to hold this here. And I'm just going to take this eyeliner, which is normally a good eyeliner, but since tonight everything wants to be an asshole, Excuse my language. It's probably, oh, look at that. Look at that. It did it. Okay. So now I'll do one on this side. It does not have to be even or perfect. God love it. It has been annoying trying to do this. But I'm going to do it for y'all. Okay. So I had made me some little skin flaps with gelatin right here. And I haven't figured out how I'm gonna make these work with the whole process yet, but we're gonna start with some latex, liquid latex. And I'm going to use popsicle stick which is turning out to be one of my favorite tools for this type of thing and then I'm just going to use the liquid latex to go around the edge this stuff smells like cat pee just go around the edge of the heart on each side Okay, so I've painted with latex around the heart, and so built it up a little bit. Now I'm just waiting for it to dry, and then I will blend some foundation over it to try and get it to match my skin tone as much as possible. Now, the goal with the, the, the wax was because it would give me a nice smooth finish to kind of brush out or you know blend out this way to smooth it into my skin. But um, I can see why so many SFX artists hate this stuff. But, and they have experience with it. I don't have any experience with it. So I'll be practicing with that like off camera. Or maybe I'll do it on camera. We'll just do it together, play and see. Okay, I've powdered it down a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my spatula on the inside, the pointy side. I'm gonna be very careful not to stab myself and I'm gonna very gently, gently lift the um, latex on the inside. Do you see what I'm doing? Just kind of, just barely lifting it. And this, once all the makeup is placed and everything, this will give help give it dimension. Okay, so I've done that. Let me move this up close so you can see. Do you see the lift, what I'm talking about? Okay, so now we're going to blend it out. And because the latex is a little lighter than my natural skin color, we're going to use, we're going to start 
with a slightly darker foundation um, to blend outwards. And I'm just gonna go around on the latex, first of all. And then I'll go over in a lighter color to start blending it out. like that. Oh, wow, I put the perfect amount on my hand. That never happens. Okay, so now you see my doesn't match well with my natural skin. So now we're going to go in with some lighter, but closer to the outside to see if I can blend this out as much as possible. I mean, I guess it doesn't really have to be perfect because uh, you could imagine with trauma to the face, like taking a heart-shaped cookie cutter to it, would um, cause discoloration anyway. Then I'm gonna take my um, foundation brush and just Then I'm just gonna set the outside of the heart with some powder. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I want to find a red, anything. I think I'll just use this red um, lip gloss because it's what I have. And I'm gonna work under, just at the little, where I made the tiny flaps, just kinda in there a little bit. And don't worry about, um, not getting it exactly under there because the whole inside of the heart is gonna be red anyway because it's, it's gonna be bloody from having uh, some face bits cut off. And now I wanna create darkness in here. So I'm just using my bruise wheel, just this dark purple in the bruise wheel to kind of fill that in a little bit. Not really looking so much like a heart anymore, but whatever. <laughs> um, and then fill this in a little bit more. Okay. Now we're going to get some fake blood in there. Okay, so I'm using coagulated blood in here, which is this tiny bottle. And I think it's really close to the bottom and this doesn't really go all the way in there. I can't, well, here we go. I love the coagulated blood because it's lumpy, gives you kind of a grody finish. Even though these are gonna be little more than a flesh wound Tis a flesh wound. I'm wearing my Ouija shirt. Okay. And I'm gonna scoop some of this blood out and just kind of blue, blue, blue. And get my little flaps and we're gonna dip it. Dip it in some liquid latex and hope that this works. And we're gonna put it right here. Right there. We're just gonna hold it on for a minute and then I'm gonna glue one on this side also. Okay, now I've got them glued on. Now the idea is that someone cut the face with the cookie cutter and then took a scalpel and then flapped it over. Now after these dry a little bit, I'm gonna put some blood on the flaps also and hopefully they'll kind of show up a little bit. Now I decided to not paint over the other side of them with uh, foundation because that would have just been hard to work with and that part's not really going to be visible anyway.
This stuff is so sticky. Okay. So now we're going to get some runnier blood to drip down. So I'm just going to take this blood because it's darker than the, um, the art arterial blood I have. And I'm going to put it kind of right here and just give it a little squeeze and just kind of squeeze and shake till I get a nice drip. Hmm. We're just going to let it drip. That's gonna fall off of me. And I would like it to just fall into my hand. Okay. All right. <laughs> gross. Okay. Gross. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Oh. Missed a hole. Okay. Um, okay, well, that's it. <laughs> that's basically it. So what I'm going to do is just kind of be like, eek. See? Eesh. So see, it's little hearts that have been cut from the face. And then, see, like that. Oh, that's cool looking right there. And then, oh, flapped. Flapped. <laughs> there we go. So that's it. Um, ooh, it's gnarly. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Happy Valentine's Day. This is my gift to you. Um, I will talk to all of you later. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for some shout out videos. If you'd like a shout out video, make sure you're subbed to me and that you send me an email and I'll check out your channel and enter you in a drawing to be in a feature Friday. Thank you so much for visiting. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Forced Affection Day.